The mission statement of John Carroll University is very clear about uh, advancing leadership and learning and service. When I think of those three very important aspects of John Carroll University's mission, um, I see that Tim embodies all three of them. He's visionary, he can look into the future and he can see the possible and I know that that can be a cliche but he really does look and try his best to um, look beyond obstacles and to really try a way to listen to people, to engage people and to see something through to completion. The first word that comes to mind is love. Um, he, just, he just expresses love so beautifully. You feel loved when you're in his presence. Well, when I think of Father Kosicki, I think of St. Ignatius' famous injunction to uh, go forth and set the world on fire. This is what Tim Kosicki does. Uh, it shows up in, in his interaction with other people. Uh, it's, it's as if the, the fuel for this fire is joy. He's a loyal son of John Carroll. He loves to tell the story about uh, being a major in the political science department and how Father Wolfel uh, played an important part of his, in his intellectual life and in his uh, desire to be a Jesuit, how uh, Gene Colleran directed him on an eight-day retreat that helped him discern his way into the Society of Jesus. So the university means a lot to him. He has taken everything that he has in his own highly intellectual nature, but also his compassionately grounded nature of reaching to people to meet the expectations of setting that world on fire. He really is a, a quintessential uh, alumnus and a paragon really for, for, uh, of, of what the university stands for. I think John Carroll University is very wise to recognize this in him and so many other alumni who do such good things, not because they may get a medal from their alma mater, but because they love the way Christ calls them to love. You know, to be a Jesuit is to be a companion of Jesus. And when you are kind of like that fire, you're, you're always spreading it, and people can feel that warmth, and people can know that you're going to always be there to provide that, and that's what he does. He does it in his career, but he does it in his personal life. There's a, some of him that stays with you, and he's an influence even if you just see him sporadically. He's just a wonderful influence on our lives. This is his calling, to live this way, to live with generosity, with hope, with joy, and with love. This is why he's such an inspiration. Congratulations, Tim. You are the very person that this award was meant to honor. Congratulations to you on receiving this alumni medal from John Carroll University. You are richly deserving of it. I'm one of your biggest fans, as you know, and one of your closest friends. All the best as you continue your leadership in the Society of Jesus. When I think of this medal, I think of how you truly have embodied what it means to be a Jesuit. And we celebrate you today also as a wonderful and very, very devoted son and brother and uncle, a faithful friend. And more than anything, we celebrate you as a true companion of Jesus. Congratulations. Congratulations, Teo. For dedication, for dedication to family, John Carroll University, and leadership in advancing the Jesuit mission worldwide, the John Carroll Alumni Association is pleased to award our 2015 Alumni Medal to the very Reverend Timothy P. Kosicki, SJ. Now, many people go to college and they find their future spouse. Well, so did I, and I'm not hiding a wife and family anywhere, I can assure you. <laughs> I found my Jesuit vocation. 
And the first Jesuit I met was Father Joe Schell, who uh, Kate O'Neill has alluded to. And Father Schell was, uh, he looked like a very doer, a Max von Sydow. He was not a warm fuzzy. But he modeled that great Jesuit maxim, Cora Personalis, care for the person. And it was his care of me and willingness to encourage me to become a Jesuit that helped me find this perfect fit. When I eventually became Father Schell's provincial, he wrote me a letter and said, good God, you were my student, now you're my provincial, it's about time I die. <laughs> and then two weeks later, he did. <laughs> I thought I killed him, but he lived a very full and promising life. I'm grateful that Father Jerry Zabo and Father Casey Bucala, who were instrumental in my vocation, also are with me here this evening. I love being a Jesuit. I love the Society of Jesus. I found my home, my fit, my passion, and my life. Thank you, and God bless you.